I'm John Badia, I'm the clinical officer in charge of Luala Health Center and let me show you around. We'll start by different sections. We've got uh, the data office, we've got the administration and then finally the injection room and the consultation room. We'll start with the data room. So this is the data room. We have Richard here and we've got Susie the other side. Basically this will get our first contact with our patients. We get our records before they move into the consultation and injection room, which I'll show you. Uh, the kind of sicknesses that we often see here are different depending on the age. Mostly for the children we've got malaria, diarrheal diseases and uh, a bit of uh, 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 we've got a bit of uh, skin diseases. But for adults is basically sexually transmitted infection, a bit of uh, pneumonia and mostly malaria too as the children are also included. This is the other thing where we get our observation. And uh, as it is right now, we've got a patient who is under observation uh, on IV queening because of malaria. She's a 35-year-old man who's been apparently ill for the last three days. I came in uh, uh, today. We did a blood slide for malaria after consultation and we found out to be having malaria. <coughs> So our next building is the laboratory and the person in charge of the laboratory is Michael Ndik and we actually want to see how he's doing. When he does the routine laboratory uh, checks, he, de he does uh, uh, counselling for patients which we call patient uh, yeah, initiated no, testing and counselling and uh, he also does uh, a little bit of recording in, as pertains to the laboratory. So this uh, patients from the locality, from the Luala community and abroad. They come here to get the medication, different kind of medication. Either they've got malaria, they've got pneumonia, or they got DRL disease. This is where they come to get their disease. And before they get to either of the consultation, this is where they sit to get, to get, uh, to wait for their names to be called before they get to the consultation rooms. Uh -huh. So the fourth room, this other side, is the injection room. We've got a couple of things getting in on this place. So welcome to the injection rooms. We take basic vitals for the, for the patients and we do initial checkup so that once the patient gets to the consultation room, he's got all the workup and the checkup done, so it's only consultation done the other side. Now we're heading to the consultation room. This is my office where I consult. I see patients here. I do basic consultation. I do minor investigations. Uh, for example, uh, uh, speculum examination for basically from the other side of the bench. And uh, I also keep my data this other side for reference and uh, for guidelines to see how things are and moving on. In the pharmacy, we've got two divisions. There's a inner store and the outer dispensing unit. So welcome to the pharmacy. What happens in this room is you do the regular dispensation, unlike the other room where you do strictly antiretroviral dispensation. Here, Nick gets consultation from, I mean, uh, letters from consultation from the doctor and dispense. This includes anti-malarial, Anti, uh, antibiotics and a bit of antifungals. Okay. So in the main store, we've got Dennis who is in charge. He keeps record of all the drugs in the pharmacy. And other than that, he also gets a dispensing unit for <laughs> HIV patients.
strikes that we run out of stock are the anti millennials. We at the moment we 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 buy so much at the moment, we buy quite so much. But because of the continuous need of patients with malaria, we out of, we run out of stock of anti malaria so often. The other drug second that runs of stock out of stock are children antibiotics. Uh, they are there in plenty, yes, but actually the need, depending on the season, actually, does the stock, I mean, the stock just runs out of, I mean, before, before the right time comes. Thank you for coming and see you again soon.